Hello students, today our topic is Python programming and in this lecture we are going to discuss output based question answer related to Python programming. In our previous lecture we already discussed main concepts related to Python programming such as conditional statement, operators, loops and in this lecture our main focus is to discuss about the output based question answer related to operators. In our previous lecture we already discussed the main concept and as you know that this is the very important part as far as your term and examination is concerned. This type of question is always asked in previous year so we'll discuss all these questions in this video let's start so first question is as you can see on the screen what will be the output of the following python expression bin 29 and what is the meaning of bin bin means binary and 29 is a number is a decimal number so in this case basically we have to convert 29 into its binary form so how can we convert 29 into binary form uh, I'll show you the method first of all just write 29 here and divide 29 by 2 because binary digit only contain two types of values 0 and 1 ok so 29 when we divide 29 by 2 then it is like that 14 and remainder is 1 write a remainder here ok then again divide 14 by 2 uh, then number is 7 and remainder is in this case is 0 again divide 7 by 2 then number which we find uh, which we got is 3 and remainder is again in this case in this case is 1 ok because 3 into 2 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 you can also find it like that again 2 is divided uh, again 3 is divided by 2 so number remainder is 1 in this case and finally we get 0 so until and unless if you don't find number 0 we have to divide the given number and also write the remainder now write the number is from bottom to top because it is MSP and what is MSP? MSP is most significant bit and what is LSP? LSP is least significant bit ok so the number which we got is 11101 1, 1, 1, 1. ok 11101 1, 1, 1, 1. so that number which we got is actually the binary equivalent of decimal number 29 ok that is the uh, basically the mathematical logic but when we talk about the python programming language so that number is represented in python programming language by prefix uh, giving the prefix 0b so 0b represent basically binary so now look at the answer second option b 0b11101 is the correct answer so answer is b i think it is clear to all of you okay Now let us take question number 2. So in this question first of all uh, we just convert uh, the decimal number into its binary form that is uh, I already told you the process how to convert it uh, how to convert a decimal into a binary form and uh, second thing is that when we represent a, des a when we represent a binary number then always prefix 0b is used after that we can give the its uh, binary representation in this case binary representation 11101 okay you can see the explanation also the binary form of the numbers 29 is 11101 and hence the output of this expression is 011101 now look at the second question number 2 what will be the output of the following python code and the value of the x is already given 
okay so first of all we have to convert uh, this number into its binary form and as you can see on the screen that number x is equal to 1 is given so first of all x should be converted into binary form so when we convert x into binary then okay value of x is 1 so we just write 1 here and then divide this number by 2 and you can easily see that okay so the number which we get is actually 1 so uh, very uh, I think it is interesting that 1 have same value in both uh, decimal number system and in binary number system both uh, representation of 1 is same both in decimal as well as in binary number system that is 1 so we just write 1 okay but uh, uh, see the second part of this you can easily see here that that is a shift operator that is shift operator binary shift operator is called the binary shift okay and uh, which type of shift is this this is left shift so uh, since we have to uh, shift this number on left hand side so basically we increase number of zeros before one because uh, if we add zero before any number that is basic that does not change its magnitude okay means uh, one zero one zero zero one all are same so now our number is this this is our binary number and we have to shift it uh, basically this number uh, two places on left hand side because left shift operator is there that is called the left shift operator and that is a number of places so shift the digit or shift the number we get okay one is the number so what we get we get one zero 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 that is our number okay and next important thing is that when we shift a number that is in this case this number is only one then the remaining places is filled with zero okay so what we get we get a number zero one zero zero or we can say that we get a number one zero zero and this is a binary number now we have to convert this number into decimal form because answer is given in decimal number okay so now how to convert a binary number into decimal number okay I will show you now one zero zero is a binary number and we have to convert this binary number into a decimal number so first of all just write 2.0 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 like that now multiply these number and these power is uh, written in increasing form okay now multiply uh, all these numbers and add the result add uh, the different digit when we multiply 1 in uh, 1 into 4 then we get 4 then 0 into 2 power 1 is 0 then again 0 into 2 power 0 is 0 so what we get we get a number and that number is 4 so actually 100 which is a binary number is equivalent to a equivalent to 4 if you want to confirm it again you can uh, convert 4 into its binary form by just a repetitive division method which I already described in question number one. So we get a digit four. Okay. So four is equivalent to zero one zero zero. Look at the answer. And so D is the correct option. Now 
दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन द फॉलोइंग पाइथन एक्सप्रेशन इफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन इज टू ओके द रिजल्ट ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन इज टू एंड x is two. Here x is not equal to two. Actually, the result of the expression is two is given. So little bit complication is there. Okay, result of the expression is two. It means it simply means that x two and we get a decimal number two here. and we have to find the value of the x what will be the value of the x okay <coughs> so now first of all you have to convert uh, 2 which is the decimal number into its binary form okay so we get actually this 2 equal to Zero zero one zero 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 one zero is equivalent to two. Okay, it is equivalent to two. You can find out it by just a uh, repetitive division method. If you don't able to understand, I just show you how we get it. Divide two by two, then. We get the remainder zero. Then again, we get the number one. So we get a number one zero. Okay. Now just increase the number of zeros before one zero. We get a digit zero zero. Actually, we increase the number uh, because uh, there is either a four bit representation or eight bit representation or sixteen bit representation. Uh, we just use. 32 bit presentation so uh, minimum number of representation which is used in this case is 4 bit represent representation so i just use i just write this it as 0010 okay that is the binary equivalent of number 2 so actually now we have a question like that 0010 i just Replace two by zero zero one zero because it is a binary number. So here you can easily see that there is a right shift. There is a right shift. So after shifting the digit two places right, we get zero zero one zero. Okay, zero zero one zero. so actually if we apply left shift left shift to this number then wait a minute if we apply left shift to this number two places then we get the value of x isn't it i think i hope uh, now you are able to understand i will tell you uh, again that is our expression okay that is our expression and this expression says that when x is right shifted two decimal places then we get a number that is equal to 0010 which is of course a binary number okay so we have to find the value of the x so if we just perform left shift operation over this number okay we get the value of the x because left shift is just opposite to the right shift so just perform the left shift operation we actually we already discussed left shift operation in our previous question so we get the number so this number is basically shifted two places to its left so we get a number 1 0 that is our number and this number is also equal to the value of the x 
isn't it okay so this number is equal to the value of the x now this is basically a binary number now we have to convert this binary number again into decimal number because all values all options in this question are in the forms of a decimal value so what is the equivalent what is the number what is the decimal number corresponding to 1000 so we have to convert this binary number into its decimal form okay uh, let us check it 1000 so again multiply first digit by 2 power 0 second by 2 power first bit by 2 power 0 second bit by 2 power 1 third bit by 2 power 2 and fourth bit by 2 power 4 2 power 4 means 16 okay uh, little bit correction here after 2 power 2 2 power 3 should be there so 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 okay so our answer would be of course all these values are found to be zero only that value have some sense means uh, we get the number 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 it means final value is 8 so our answer should be 8 let us check okay answer is a so a is the correct answer it means 8 is the correct value now i hope uh, you are able to understand this question okay let us take an another question what will be the output of the following python expression int one zero one zero so very interesting question is this int one zero one zero one zero one zero it appears as it is a binary number but always remember that until and unless we don't write 0b before any binary number it is not considered as a binary number in python programming language and by default every number that is given in python programming language is considered as by uh, considered as an int value if no data type is mentioned so here 100 so among octal hexadecimal decimal binary uh, by default number is considered as a decimal number system okay considered as a decimal number system but in this question as you can e easily see on the screen int 1011 is given which simply indicate that it is a decimal number okay so uh, question says that what will be the output of the following python expert and decimal number is converted to int so again i think no impact on the on this uh, number so again our answer should be 1011 so 1011 is the correct answer okay now i think uh, you are all, all of you are able to understand this question so To find the decimal value of 1111 that is 15 we can use the function so we have to convert 1111 which is a binary number and we have to find its decimal equivalent decimal equivalent is 15 of course we know that but uh, the correct option which we use in python programming language we have to find this find out the correct option among these among all these four options so correct option is D D is the correct option okay so first of all the first value which we have to mention is always in a single quotes or in double quotes okay so as you can see in the screen that option a is false and option C is again false so these are not the correct option because value is not given in single quotes now we have only two options option B or option D in which one is correct so by default 1111 uh, basically which is a number uh, 
is considered as I know as I told earlier that it is considered as a decimal value okay so it is considered as a decimal value so if we choose option number B then our answer is 1111 that is considered as a decimal value but if we convert but if we select option number 4 that is here it says that this number is a binary number and here option B this says that this is a decimal number. so because this is a decimal and already decimal number, so our answer is 1111 in case of B but since it is a binary number because options when we uh, uh, write like that int with a single quotes 1111 and write 2 comma 2 it means it is a binary number or just we can say that it is equivalent to 11112 in mathematics form so it is a binary number and the decimal law which is equivalent to that binary number is equal to 15 is equal to 15 and uh, before this int is there so int 15 means 15 15 is the correct answer and how we get 15 I'll just show you Take value 15, divide it by 2, write the remainder. 2 into 7 plus 1 is equal to 15. You can also see, also see it as now again 7 is divided by 2. So 2, 3 is 6, remainder 1. Again 3 is divided by 2. And again 0 is divided by 2. So number is 1111. So 1111 is basically equivalent to 15. Base in mathematics represent the type of number system we used. For example, if we just write 1111 and uh, in the subscript we just write 2, that meant it is a binary number. And if we write 10, that means it is a decimal number system in decimal number system as we know that uh, nine digits are used 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and in the binary number system only two digits are used that are that are 0 and 1 in octal number system seven digits are used that are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and in hexadecimal number system 15 digits of symbols are used that are numbers from 0 to 9 and we represent 10 with a 11b 12c 13d 14 by e and 15 by f so these are the different types of number systems okay so actually we convert we actually check only the answer and 15 the correct answer but uh, uh, in this question you have to convert 1111 into 15 that is a binary number to convert this number into a into a, a decimal number first digit is multiplied by 2 power 0 second 2 power 1 third 2 power 2 and last 2 power 3 so we get 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 2 power 0 is 1 I think all of you uh, know this fact that when we raise a power 0 to any number we get digit 1 so our answer should be 15 so that is the correct answer now all of you know how to convert a binary number into decimal number and how to convert a decimal number into binary number in this question 1111 is already given that it is equivalent to 15 but I just show you how to convert a binary number into a decimal number and how to convert a decimal number into binary number I think it is clear to all of you as far as this question is concerned only we have to correct the uh, only we have to find out the correct option and the correct option in this case is D
okay now let us take another question another bitwise operator is used that is bitwise and in this question so question number 6 what will be the output of the following python expression if x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 12 okay y is equal to 12 so first of all x is equal to 15 is given and y is equal to 12 is given now we have to convert first of all these number into its binary form and all of you know how to convert a uh, decimal number into a binary number I think all of you are fam familiar with this concept so fifteen equivalent is one 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 and by twelve equivalent is one one zero zero so these are the two numbers x and y now what we have to find out we have to find out x and y x bitwise and y now what is the meaning of this symbol this is bitwise and it says that when all values are found to be one then the answer is one if at least one value is found to be zero then answer should be zero so look at the expression one and zero one and zero one value is found to be zero then answer should be zero in this case in second place we get one zero so the answer is again zero i told you again if all values are found to be one that means if we just write one one and one then we get one if we just write uh, 1 and 0 we get 0 if we write 0 and 0 we also get 0 and if we write 0 and 1 we get also 0 it simply means that when all values or when both values in the according to this question if both values uh, are 1 then answer is 1 otherwise answer is 0 so 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 is 1 and again 1 1 is 1 so that is the number which we get just after solving x bitwise and y okay so that is a binary number and uh, let us check this number is given in option or not first option is wrong first of all if you want to uh, show a binary number 0b should be used before this so in this uh, option a b only b is given so a, a is not the correct option b 0 b 1101 is there but our answer is 1100 so b should b is not the correct option okay d is also not the correct option we have the only one option 12 so to check this whether c is correct or not we have to convert this number which is a binary number into it's the decimal equivalent I'll show you 1100 1, 1, 0, 0. first digit is multiplied by 2 power 0 second 2 power 1 third 2 power 2 and fourth is 2 power 3 okay so we get 2 power 3 into 1 plus 2 power 2 into 1 plus 0 plus 0 because we when we multiplied 0 to any digit we get 0 that is 8 plus 4 and 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 so 12 is correct answer now I hope I think uh, now you are able to understand how bitwise end operator works okay So this is all about our today's lecture. In our next video, we will discuss some more question on bitwise operator. So um, I will suggest you because this is a revision um, part of Python programming language. So learn all the bitwise operator first. 
and uh, how they work what is the definition of the bitwise operator different bitwise operator uh, so some bitwise operator are end operator or operators okay XOR operator should uh, also is also there uh, left uh, shift right shift so we just uh, do some question answer on this uh, these uh, different types of bitwise operator in our next video also I hope uh, you like this video thanks for watching this video